yeah guys uh, welcome back to our channel guys thank you very much for watching and thank you for clicking this particular video as well um today we are going to do something traditional but just before that this is actually pride and if it's your first time watching any video on the channel go ahead and click that word subscribe so that you are glued to the channel you'll not miss any single episode about it otherwise um we're going to smear this house there's a way we beautify our houses we we don't use cement like you guys do we use um either cow dung or there's this particular black soil that we pick from the well side or the river side and it's what we use for smearing our houses and today i want to show you guys practically how we do it and guess what you're going to love it come in with me So guys, I don't know if you're able to see me well, it's a bit dark here, but this is basically how our traditional kitchens look like. As you can see from the roof, it's dark because of smoke. We use firewood so the smoke goes into the ceiling, I mean into the roof, and that is what makes it dark like that. And then, this here is what we use for making peanut paste. We grind manually, we don't use machines, you understand? After roasting it, we grind it here, and we make peanut paste here, either for eating, uh, for cooking or for eating or for anything we make it from there and then this right here is where we store firewood you guys um firewood we store it just right above the 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 the, 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 the charcoal stove i mean the wood uh stove so we could keep it warm you understand there is that heat that comes from the fireplace and it keeps this firewood warm so that by the time you fix it down there to cook it is in perfect condition it does not take long to burn you understand and then this right here is where we cook from this is where we fix the firewood from the other side one side here and then the saucepan on top and that's where we cook our food from alternatively we also have this if we have charcoal this is what we use for cooking if we don't have charcoal we use this for the firewood so basically this is what our traditional kitchens look like this right here is winner was and then this here is for storing food stuff I mean, this is basically it inside here. So guys, let's go straight into the work. This is what we are going to use as I don't know if you're able to see, but this is cow dung. I don't know if it's clear enough. And maybe I'm going to show you from outside, but this is cow dung. You pull for the for the cows. You understand? And then this here is the black soil I talked about at the start of it. It's picked from the riverside or from the a, a well side or something like that. So this right here is how we do it. So guys, this right here is how the first layer is looking. I am I'm just finished with doing using the, um, the, the, the the black soil. As you can see, this is how it's looking. So I'll leave it to dry a little bit and then I can repeat with the cow dung. As you can see. So you can see the beauty here. It is not the tiles that you're used to. It is not the cement that you're used to. But this is something very traditional, very African, very, very cultural. So basically that is just how it looks. Meanwhile, there's also an option of leaving it with this layer. But just because there's another extra beauty that comes with that cow dung. So uh, I'm opting to add the cow dung layer on top of this black layer that you're seeing. So basically this is the dung I am going to use. It's just cow dung mixed with water. 
you make it a you make it a bit thick as you saw it right you don't make it so watery so basically that is just it guys wait for the next for the next round i am going to show you as well what the final outcome will look like but then basically that is just it for now let's give it some minutes to dry a bit so we can do the second layer so guys this is just to smoothen it there is this rough particles you're seeing so this sweeping is just to make it smooth i think you're going to notice this part is swept and then this other one i mean this part is not swept and then this part is swept i think you can notice the difference just to smoothen it before i do the second round so let me sweep very fast and then start off Guys, I'm um, right here, as you can see, the work is perfectly done, let me bring it a bit closer, so you can just have a look at what it means, what it looks like, what the final work looks like, but this is just what it's going to look like, we're going to give it some time to dry, so this is how we beautify our houses, you guys, um, we don't use tiles, we don't use cement, because we don't have them. This is just how it is done. The local way, but very neat as you can see. Very smooth as well. You can just have a look at what the final room is looking like. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Thank you always for coming back and watching my channel videos. Guys, thanks a lot for the love. Please continue sharing, continue subscribing if you had not. And you are going to love it with me right here. Thanks a lot for now. Let me just clean up you guys. It's been a long day. It's been a long walk. But it's finally done. So next time. Bye-bye.